I killed a cyclist and then hid his body for years with the help of my twin brother. My name is Alexander McKellar, I am 31 years old, I caused the death of Tony Parsons, 63 years old, after striking him with a vehicle on the A82 near Bridge of Orkey, Argyle, and Butte, in September 2017. I buried Mr. Parsons' body in a remote peat bog and disposed of evidence linking me to the fatal collision. My twin brother, Robert, helped me cover up the crime. Robert, who pleaded guilty to attempting to defeat the ends of justice along with me, was sentenced to five years and three months behind bars. We were caught after I confessed to my then-girlfriend years after Mr. Parsons' death and took her to the grave site. A woman left a can of Red Bull as a marker and then reported it to police. Mr. Parsons' remains were eventually recovered on the remote Acha State in January 2021. The High Court in Glasgow heard that his body would most likely never have been found had it not been for the woman's revelation. Judge Lord Armstrong said the death and cover-up caused Mr. Parsons' family to suffer devastating loss and emotional harm that is still ongoing. Defending me, Brian McConaughey KC said that I deeply regret the trauma I have put the family through. Mr. McConaughey said I embarked on a course of action that would change my life and many others forever. He explained that I acted out of fear and panic, adding, fear for myself and panic for the situation I found myself in. The brothers were due to stand trial last month accused of murder. I Alexander McKellar, known as Sandy, instead pleaded guilty to the reduced charge of culpable homicide. The collision happened during heavy rain at around 11 p.m. on September 29, 2017. My brother and I, who were self-employed farm workers, were driving home from the Bridge of Orkey Hotel following dinner with a hunting group. Prosecutor Alex Prentice KC told the court we were witnessed drinking alcohol. Shortly before being struck, Mr. Parsons had stopped at the hotel for a cup of coffee. The hotel's manager had urged Mr. Parsons to stay for the night, but he wished to continue with his charity bike challenge. Instead of alerting emergency services to get help for the much-loved husband, dad, and granddad, and my brother left the scene of the crash before returning in another vehicle to collect Mr. Parsons' body, bike, and belongings. The body was initially hidden by us within the grounds of Acha State, near the A82. I then later buried Mr. Parsons in a remote peat bog used to dispose of dead animals. Mr. McConaughey described the cover-up as a runaway train, adding, it was a sequence of events that would become almost impossible to unravel. I later told my girlfriend, who had sparked the confession in 2020 after asking if there was anything in my past which could affect our relationship going forward, that we had destroyed Mr. Parsons' mobile phone and SIM card and burned his rucksack, wallet, and helmet. His bike was reportedly hidden behind a waterfall, and has never been recovered. My brother and I then arranged for repairs to be carried out on the vehicle that struck Mr. Parsons and pretended the damage had been caused by a collision with a deer. Follow for more.